In Creole Parametric, you can merge bomb balloons in a drawing and then subsequently detach them if you wish. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have a drawing open in Creole Parametric. You can see that we have a bomb balloon table over on the right. And then in the drawing view, we have a bunch of bomb balloons with quantities shown. If you take a look down near the bottom, we have a couple examples of bomb balloons that have been merged together. For example, there is a boss with the bolt that goes along with it. And that's how we can help clean up our drawing. If I take a look near the top, I have a couple bomb balloons where the arrows are crossing over each other. I have a turn switch and then the washers that go along with it and then the machine screws that secure the switch to the rest of the steering column. I can merge these bomb balloons together. To do that, go to the table tab and then in the balloons group in the ribbon, we have the merge balloons command. When I click on the command in the message area, I am prompted to select the balloon to be merged. So let's start off by selecting the balloon for the washers. And now it's prompting me to select a quantity balloon to be merged onto. And so here is a bomb balloon with a quantity. I will click on it. And now you can see that the bomb balloon is now attached to the one for the switch. And I'm still in the command. So you are going to be able to merge multiple balloons at one time. Let's select another balloon, the one for the machine screws, and then select where we want it attached to. And there you can see how they are done. Now when I'm finished merging the balloons, you can use the middle mouse button to get out of the operation. You'll notice that the command is no longer selected. Let's use the repaint icon, which is the keyboard shortcut of Control R, just so that nothing is still selected. And sometimes you are working, you realize, you know what? I am moving stuff around. I no longer want these balloons to be merged to one another. So you can then use the detach balloons command. I will click on detach balloons and I'm prompted to select a balloon to be detached. Let's select the one for the screws and you'll notice that the balloon goes up here. It reverts back to its initial placement. And again, I'm still in the command. Let's select the other balloon and it reverts back to its initial placement. Let's use the middle mouse button to get out of the command then use the repaint. Then I can grab the balloons and move them around to where I want them to appear. So again, that's how you can use the merge balloons and detach balloons command in a drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.